is getting into the unknown. make sure to like comment and subscribe y'all it is thursday evening we're getting closer to the holidays next week is thanksgiving and i actually have a dinner that i'm going to tonight i made some friends in my life group at church and they're like content girlies and we've been holding each other accountable y'all if it wasn't for them and god i wouldn't be back on my zoom like i've been recently them God, my friends, you know, people close to me, they've really been encouraging me and pushing me to get back on it. So y'all, I'm back. Give me some grace. I may fall off a little bit, but we're not gonna be all the way off. We still, you know, keeping it pushing. But yeah, y'all, I'm getting ready to go to that in a few. She's having a dinner at her house. She invited us over. So I'm super, super excited. Some of the girls I haven't met in person yet. Like, two of them so i'm excited to meet them it's like five of us so i think it'll be cute if i have a nice little cozy comfy chic night in that's what i think i'm gonna go for with what i wear comfy chic because we'll be in the house so we'll be comfy but i still want to be cute but before we start getting ready i got some packages first of all the first package i want to show you is actually pr the girlies love PR. I'm super, super excited to show you this, guys. It's from a new brand called RX. We're about to open it up and see what it is giving. They reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try their products, and I was like, yeah. And it's so crazy because the brand, it kind of focuses on finding like your own healthy hair regimen. And I've kind of been in like a little, I don't want to say a funk, but in a little phase where I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with my hair next. And so this couldn't have come at a more perfect time. Y'all look at it. Oh, now why did I think to do that? Let me just show it to you that way. Y'all look how cute. I love how they packaged up everything. Let's see what this is. Okay, so this is a QR code to see, so I can scan this to see what my day-to-day regimen instructions are and what's also great about this um brand is that it comes with like a coach that'll walk you through your little healthy hair regimen goals so i'm super excited to try this so how i got my products i they emailed me and they sent me a link to take a test so you'll take like a little assessment of sorts and that's how you build your personalized hair care regimen and from there they, like they ask you a bunch of questions like do you have dry scalp, do you suffer from split ends, thinning, breakage, all that. Like they really get into the nitty gritty. They even ask you what your current um, hair care routine is. So I was like, this kind of came in a more perfect time because I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next with my hair. I was considering getting a sewing, all of that. But you know what? I think I'm gonna try to cater to my tresses and keep my little natural out for a little more. So I have a scalp purifying solution supposed to remove your build up to your scalp and restore its pH and they come in these cute little pouches. I have a pre-cleanse micro oil. So this is of course a pre-cleanse. So this will be before I wash my hair, I'm thinking. Then I have the nutrient cleanse complex. So I think that this is the shampoo, okay? And then there's the conditioning. So the intense conditioning compound, of course, this is the conditioner. And then the treatment leave-in. And they come in these pouches, but they also sent these little containers to put the stuff in. So there's these containers and then there's also these to pump it out. I can't wait to use it and I'm gonna definitely give y'all a tea on if you should try this brand. But for now, 10 across the board. I'm super excited, the packaging is great. I can't wait to try it. And then lastly, we got some Sephora goodies. So let me show you guys what I got. Of course, I was out, got some new Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. <sighs> Always keep this in stock, y'all. I use this with the one size. I'm almost out of one size. I'm starting to panic. It's almost time. They were sold out at Sephora. So I heard that they be having them at Kohl's. And I heard that they have them on the actual one size 
site, Patrick Star's actual site. So I'm gonna look on there too, but those two together, Chef's Kiss, what I've been using in the meantime is the Max Fix Plus. You never go wrong with Mac, okay? I also got the Refi Lip Sculpt Lip Liner. Y'all, I've heard great things about this lip liner. Apparently, like, it doesn't move. Like, it stays on whether you eat something, drink something, it literally stays on, the outline stays on your lips. So I'm super excited to try this. I got the first shade in Sepia. I do wanna get Fawn next, but I was like, let me try this first. I also got a mini Hourglass concealer in the shade Maple. I've heard great things about Hourglass. I'm gonna try it and see what they say, but so far, the Born This Way has never stirred me wrong. They do say that this is more full coverage and the Born This Way is more buildable coverage, which you can't go wrong with as well. So we will see. We're gonna try it tonight for dinner, okay? We're gonna try it tonight. And also y'all, when I went to get, when I got my makeup done at the wedding, I was like asking my makeup artist all the tea cause she's bomb. If you are looking for a makeup artist in the DMV area, I'll put her information down in the description box below, Glamour by Troy. I was like, what do I do for this? What do I do for this? Cause I needed all the tea while literally, we were just chatting, having a great girl time. So she told me that the Charlotte Tilbury, and I was asking her what she was using on my face. So she uses the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. And this is supposed to be a setting powder. She told me to get number two for under my eyes. So she uses number two for the under eye and then she used number three, which I think is tan all over the face. I already had the Sephora Micro Smooth, so I didn't feel like I needed an all over face. And she also uses the Micro Smooth for under eye too. So I already had an all over the face for that. But I was like, let me get the medium one and try it out. I did get a mini. For the things that I have never tried before, I did get minis if they had that option. So this I got a mini and the Hourglass I also got a mini. And then I also am trying this Loctane Cleansing and Softening Shower Oil, y'all. I wanna get into more Lux shower care because honestly, I just be using Dove. I don't exfoliate as much as I should in the shower. Like I have Necessaire and the Fenty Skin exfoliating and all of those products, but I don't use it as much as I should. And my skin is super, super sensitive. So like when it comes to oils, some of them will dry me out. So I wanted to try this because I heard that this acts as a cleanser and a shower oil. This is perfect for the fall, winter, when you're trying to smell like a nice little butter drop. You know, this is giving. I can't wait to use this. I got a mini in that. And this has been in my favorites for a minute. It's the Sephora Plumping Gloss. I couldn't tell you who put me on this. Probably TikTok. It was 30% off, so I was like, why not? And then, of course, y'all, the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I've had this in my loves for a minute now. So everyone raised about this. They said it's good for makeup prep and all of that. So I can't wait to try it. So yeah, y'all, these are my little goodies that I got from the Sephora sale. A 10 out of 10, I'm super excited and I can't wait to try them, y'all. I'm always excited to try new things that I've never like had. And usually from the Sephora sale, I get stuff that I always use. This is something that I always had, can't go wrong with that. But everything else, I got like seven items and all of the seven, six of them are new. So I literally cannot wait to try them. So I'm gonna use this at dinner as like the perfect time, you know, to give it a whirl. I'm gonna do a light beat. So I may not use the hourglass today and I have a birthday function tomorrow to go to. So I may use, no, not tomorrow, on Saturday to go to. So I'll probably use it on Saturday. But for today, I'll probably use the Charlotte Tilbury, maybe the little um, Kiehl's to like moisturize my face. And then tonight we're taking a bath with it. So we just go, let's just use it all. Okay, so let me go get ready and I will check back in with you guys in a sec.
Okay, girls, we are all ready to head out. I'm going to show y'all real quick a real lazy OOTN because I want it to be, oops, take y'all on a roller coaster. Okay, because I want it to be like super comfy but still cute. So I have on this little like airy set. My mom got it for me. I just throw it on, honestly, truly. It has like a little flare pant. Wow, I'm so not flexible. I would show y'all in the full length mirror, but I got a lot going on in the living room right now. But I just have on these pants and my new balances. You get the gist, you know? I just want to be comfy chic. That's what I was going for. So yeah, y'all, I'm about to be on my way out. It's 60 degrees and it's the middle of November, almost Thanksgiving. I don't know. I guess we'll still call this fall. I don't know what the weather is giving. So I'm going to still bring like a little light jacket, but I feel like this is pretty warm. So I should be good in this for now. I got to stop and get the wine because it is a wine night. I'm going to get some Stella or maybe some Bartonera. Y'all know what that's called? The little blue with the white label? I may get that too because you know I'm a sweet girl. So yeah, we're gonna get that and then we're gonna be on our way because we got quite a drive, okay? He said, this is flesh of my flesh and bone of my bone. She shall be called woman. It was all woman when you saw me. Real people in this room. Soften up the mess. Drop it in the water. Let the daughter find her image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. It's gonna be so fun. Um, thank you guys for coming to my home. Oh, yes. Woo! Yes. 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 Um, so I appreciate you guys so much. Um, we're just gonna have fun. I love to just chill, relax, and have a good, good time. Okay, so. You know, all the, you know, extra stuff, don't, don't worry about that. It's like, y'all just have a good time. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have a game. I'm going to finish cooking dinner. But truly, like, just enjoy yourselves. Like, truly. It's Thursday. And it's about to be Friday. Yeah. You know? And I know the girls would love to just have a little break. So this is your break. And enjoy it. Okay? Period. Thank you, guys, so much. Love you. Yeah, but you're not. You're not on my team, baby. Mom. So another one is when you are modeling and you're smiling. Smile. Yes. And then the other one is Morgan. She's a mom. mom. But what's another type when she's like a corporate girl? A mom. You don't want to put it together. A corporate girl. What's the other word? A corporate girl. What's the other word? Now, girl. Thank you. It 
is Sunday. As you can see, my hair is different. I've taken my hair out, y'all, and this is a twist out, and it's giving. So it is, I want to say second day hair because I took it out yesterday, but I haven't even really fluffed it for real. Like at night, I did not do a pineapple. I need to get some volume at the top okay you know what i'm saying right now it's just giving party at the bottom and that's because i twisted it differently usually i twist it to my scalp so i can lift it up you know i'm just trying to get a little lift ditch in there but i just did like regular two strand twists this time so it wasn't flat to my head so that's why it kind of looks a little but it still looks good like the definition hey hey it's there okay period but y'all today is sunday last i chatted with y'all i was going to the girl dinner um on thursday night and y'all let me just say 10 out of 10 y'all like people god let me say god because not people god has been putting people in my life like off the random you know and everything the connection has just been happening so so fast like for instance today i'm doing a thing i'm so excited about i'm gonna be like a little makeup and hair model for a bridal and wedding expo and it's from a connection that i literally just met in like october the girl put me on to the wedding expo she was the one who hosted um the dinner on thursday so i've just been putting been put in rooms that are just so amazing and have been connected to such amazing people in such a short amount of time. And I'm just so blessed and so grateful. So yeah, y'all, the dinner was a 10 out of 10. We had such a great time. It was very powerful and definitely will be a new core memory, okay? And today, now I get to do this wedding expo and I'm just so grateful and so blessed. I'm so excited. So yes, that's what I'm getting ready to go. Now, I have on some sweats. This top, well, not even top. This little hoodie is from H&M. And I have to bring like a cami and biker shorts because I guess since they're trying to give wedding vibes, I will be like in a robe as if I was getting ready for my own wedding. Manifest, soon come, amen. So yes, I will be wearing a cami and biker shorts underneath my robe, but I'm just coming in something chill. So this little H&M, little acid wash um, hoodie. I found it in store. Um, I don't know if they have it online anymore because when I went in store, I was gonna do an online purchase instead because H&M, subscribe to their list. They always have sales if you're like a member online the only problem is you need to try their stuff on you can't just go off vibes with h&m sometimes so that's the only reason why i have purchased in store but they didn't have this online it was sold out online and then i have on my little wild fable target flare pants so i will try to find the links for these and link it down below so i just want to be chill and comfortable until i actually have to put on my bridal robe so i'm wearing this with my new new balances so yeah today should be chill at first they asked me if how my hair was because i still had my half up half down and i took it out and at first i was like maybe that would be a vibe but i was like that restricts them they can't really do much with that and i had like a little snowstorm it was giving dandruff in my ponytail so it was it was time to come out but when i let her know that i was taking my hair out she was like am am i opposed to heat styling and i was like I thought about it, but I was like, no, you know what? I, I don't want any heat. So I'm super excited to see what they do with my natural hair. And I feel like the brides that like walk by and see like a variety with like natural hair styling will be more inclined to stick around. Cause the straight hair, yes, it's very cute and it gives a look. It, but it's sometimes expected for weddings. So I think this will give the girls what needs to be given. So yeah, y'all, I'm about to hurry up and eat me some breakfast really quick because. I need to leave in like, I sound like those TikToks. I only got five minutes, y'all. So real, real quick. Yeah, no. But I actually have like 30 minutes. So I need to give me some breakfast. But yeah, I wanted to show y'all the vibes that I was giving today. And then also chat with y'all. Y'all, it's been a great weekend. It's been jam-packed, but a great weekend for sure. So I'll check back in with you guys in a sec.
Hello, y'all. I am back. As you can see, the face beat the hair. I took it out of the style that I had had it in, and I inserted some clips so you guys could see. So they have my hair kind of like pinned back in the veil at the top which I loved. I had to set you guys down so you could see. So I kept my natural hair out, which I loved, and they styled it super, super cute. And I love that we did it that way because there were so many girls that came up to the booth and they were like, do you work with locks? Do you work with natural styles? And a lot of people, I guess, struggle with finding hairstylists that work with like natural styles, like locks and natural hair like this. So I'm so happy that I kept my hair um, natural. And I I took my half up half down out because it was a vibe and I was getting more like um natural glam and the other girl was giving full glam beat to the gods still beat though I'm still beat even though I was natural so yeah y'all today was a 10 out of 10 I'm pooped I'm tired I don't want to wipe off my makeup I didn't even know that bridal expos were so much of a thing like it's literally like a mall for your wedding you can get your photographer there you can get your um caterers your what else your tux they had gowns that makeup artists all that jazz photo booths all of that so i think it's a very very smart concept and there were so many people at our table which made it so much more fun so the girls were doing a good job and you know sometimes with the wedding parties or like the wedding makeup artists only one person on the team can do makeup no literally everybody on the team that did our makeup was a 10 out of 10. everybody on this team eats down okay and they gave variety we had the natural going and we had the other girl she had like the hollywood glam like the roaring 20s it was really really giving so i had a great time um i definitely like whenever i manifest and get married i will definitely be looking into them because it was a 10 out of 10 the vibes were immaculate and they were so sweet and black owned okay i should have started there that should have been enough okay that should have been enough but yeah y'all i'm home now watching Mary to medicine so i'm just gonna chill take my makeup off eventually i don't want to take it off let me let y'all get one more good look <laughs> It's the most beautiful time of the year Lights fill the streets playing so much I should be playing in the winter snow But I'll be out in the midst of snow I don't wanna miss out on the holiday But I can't stop staring at your face I should be playing in the winter snow But I'm a dream So you gotta listen to this shit days since I chatted with you last I think I talked to you on Sunday it is now Friday Black Friday that is we have given thanks already okay and now we're about to get ready to go into the Merry Chris okay Merry Christmas we've gone from thanks to Chris and I'm very very what? excited I'm sorry my, my little sister is here yeah. and I guess she didn't like what I was what I was saying but y'all it has been a jam-packed week, if you cannot already tell. I stayed here for Thanksgiving, which was really, really nice. My sister came up here to visit and spend some time with me, and y'all, I cooked. I threw down, okay? Threw down, okay? Macaroni and cheese, roast, all, everything. It was it was really a 10 out of 10. This is my first Thanksgiving. I don't want to say by myself, because I've done Thanksgiving by myself in college, but I would say, like, as an adult and right now i'm feeling like okay i need a house because i want to be able to host people and i can still host people at my apartment but i can't wait to do it on a much much bigger scale yeah thanksgiving was great and we kind of just chilled and relaxed all weekend not week but i just chilled and relaxed all week so now today is friday we went to the store not to the store we did go to the store but we went to the mall we went to tyson's if you live in the dmv area you're very familiar with what that mall is went there i kind of didn't think it all the way through um but it took me way longer to get there than it usually does because the traffic of people trying to get to the mall they were also protesting for the genocide going on in palestine right now so it's really just been 
it really was a really long, long, long trip. Then when I went in there, I, I don't know if I expected to like see a whole bunch of stuff. I did not. Zara was trashed. Like it was not organized at all. And then in the stores that were organized, the line was out the door. So at that point, I just took a screenshot of the things that I was like, oh, this is cute, but I probably didn't even really need. So I would go back online and buy those. But then after that, we went to Hobby Lobby to get some Christmas supplies, okay? Let me show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all one of the packs of ornaments because it really is a lot of ornaments and stuff that we got. But how cute is this? I'm kind of going for like a little neutral vibe. So I got white and like cream, like kind of like champagne vibes. So yeah, it's gonna be really, really cute. My Christmas tree is here and we're about to unbox that. Okay, ASMR, please. So yeah, my Christmas tree is here. We're about to unbox that and decorate that all tonight. I'm so, so excited. Do you have anything you want to say to the people? Jordan has been sick all week. That's another reason why I haven't been vlogging like that for real because the vibes just weren't getting that. I wanted her to get well rested and well energized. Um, this is probably the first day. I wouldn't say she's 100%, but let's give her 85%, right? Yeah. Okay, awesome sauce. Good night. A 90! That's nothing. What else? Y'all, she had a fever of 107, child. We always have a fever. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, 102. But that's a fever. So, yeah, I had to make sure my girl was good before we did the little vloggy vlog. But, yeah, y'all, we got to decorate this Christmas tree and then make some Christmas cocktails. It's going to be a really cool night. It's going to be fun. And fine. eat Christmas. I mean, Thanksgiving. And eat her. That's what she excited about, the Thanksgiving leftovers. Okay, what? And we're making Christmas cocktails tonight, so this is gonna be such a vibe. Have the Christmas tree lit up. So as you can see, we have our nudes, our champagnes, our bronzes. It's gonna kind of match the vibe of my living room, which I kind of like. Yeah, somebody moved in here when she was sick, so it's not giving like it usually gives in here. Then we got our white. So this is acrylic, kind of like a little pearlized ornament very, that's the word a pearlized ornament very very cute so there's some matte some shiny some glitter and like the pearlized ornaments right here so that's gonna be cute on there y'all get into it it's getting into the enough it's giving let it go okay frozen okay Anna and Elsa oh my god and then you supposed to be you don't want to talk what's going on <laughs> It's not out of room on this camera stage. Come on, it's, it's so much no, more. It's I have my uh my assistant. Beautiful. Oh, uh -uh. Oops. Don't break. So we're gonna stick these in the tree. So cute. And we got all this stuff from Hobby Lobby, 50% off. Okay, y'all get into it. Y'all utilize your Hobby Lobby. But Hobby Lobby has that all year round, 50%. 50% off, okay? I know Target have cute stuff, but Target don't got this price. The, the price ain't always cute at Target. Okay, we all know that. So this is very cute as well. This is gonna go in the tree. It's giving like Chip and Joanna game. Okay. <laughs> um, this is the little ribbon that we got. Let's see. It kind of gives like a little rustic vibes. Y'all, this I can't wait. It's giving lemon. Look at these ornaments. And ornament hooks. Yeah. And all of this was picked out and designed by myself. Jordan, when you get on your line, that's when I have to cut the cameras. That's when I have I'll to put my you. contact information below for bookings. Okay. Merry Christmas. All right, y'all. So that is what we're working with. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. We're about to get into it. Put on some Christmas jingles. And yes, get to decorating. And hopefully we'll be done in about an hour so we can eat Thanksgiving. And then um, 
get into our Christmas cocktails. Okay, let's get into it. I'm definitely gonna get a topper and a tree skirt. But for now, the vibe is giving Christmas. You know, it took a little minute. I do have to remind myself that decorating a tree is cute, but is it always fun? No, but sometimes, you know, you really have to think about where you wanna place different things, and that was kind of um, challenging. But no, it was a great time. I love the tree. I'm still not done. I'm gonna get a topper. Probably gonna add some more, like, ornaments throughout here like sporadically because I still have time we're not in a rush to finish it but yeah I want to make it a little bit more full but it looks really good I love that the tree is pre-lit that takes away most of the hassle that comes with decorating a tree so the fact that it's pre-lit like 10 out of 10 but I love it it's definitely giving neutral chic vibes I will say the hardest part is the ribbon yeah that is um that's a doozy. I'm gonna learn how to do it where they like stuff it like around in the front. That's what the housewives really be giving it. We'll be giving it a 10 out of 10. But I'm gonna learn how to do that eventually. But for now, this will do. It's very cute. And yeah, so now I'm about to eat some Thanksgiving leftovers from yesterday. And then we're gonna get to our Christmas cocktails. But y'all, today drained me. This is all I got, okay? But it looks cute. I'm obsessed. I love it. 